Hi everyone, today I'm gonna share with you how to make a simple house for a fingling toy. So my daughter has a fingling baby monkey and she asked me to make a house for this little monkey. So she wrote down a list of what she wants to incorporate in this house and I made her a sketch and she approved it. So let us get started. For tools, we need cutting board, ruler, utility knife, scissors, pen, hot glue gun. For materials, we need some cardboard or you can start out with a carton box. And for a tree, I use this branch and it's about 18 inches long for my backyard. With some little branches as well, one square of the grass tile and moss and some artificial leaves uh, you can get from the dollar store or from Michaels. Contact papers with a pattern of your choice. Some tape, packing tape. 20 inches of Gerbering ribbon with a width of 3 8 of an inch or quarter of an inch. To start, I measure and cut out the cardboard pieces with the measurements as follow. For the base, we need two pieces with a measurement of 22 inches by 12 inches. For the main frame piece, I cut out a long piece that's going to be folded into a rectangle shape. And you can start out by using a carton box as well. So the size of this piece is 51 and a half by 9 and a quarter, and it's being folded to match it back, which is 16 by 9 and 3 quarters. We need a floor piece with 15 and 3 quarters of an inch by 9 and a quarters. For the roof, I cut out three identical pieces with a height of 4 inches by 16 inches. And this is a rooftop, it's 20 by 10 inches, and I just cut made a shallow cut to fold it to match the triangle and this is 5 inches by 3 inches and that's for the base of the, the tree. Okay so let's put the house together. So first I start by adding hot glue to the base pieces to glue the, the two pieces together. So I just add hot glue all around the edge as well. Next I use contact paper to cover on one side of the back. So while applying contact paper on, just to make sure that you use your hand to press the paper away to avoid any bubbles. And make sure this surface to be nice and smooth. So once you're done with the extra, just trim out the corners and fold everything in. For a more sturdy base, I glue the floor piece and the floor part together. My daughter also wanted something sparkly, so I used the, the sparkly contact paper to cover the floor part. And then for the wall and the ceiling, I just used that marble contact paper and cover it around. I'm leaving the exterior for later. Then I used packing tape to tape the outside of the frame together. I also used packing tape to tape all around the back as well, so the backs will be attached together. To the frame and that's how it looks like from the inside with a sparkly floor as I've mentioned before if you're able to find a box with that similar size or a size that works for fingling and with some nice pattern just go ahead and that way you can skip all the parts that I just uh, share with you for the next step I've used contact sweeper to cover the exterior walls as well as the back so I'm leaving uh, the rooftop part open, also the base as well. I also use a contact paper that I use for the exterior to cover the rooftop parts and to all the triangle pieces, the middle piece, I just leave it the way it is because it's going to be hidden. I use this ribbon to make a swing and my daughter requested pink. So let's cut out one piece with uh, 20 inches long, so I fold it in half and then just hold on to that middle folded point and I use one end and match it up with the middle point and then I use hot glue just to glue that part all the way around to the loop part and just leave about 2 inches opening and repeat it to the other side as well.
So once that's done, I use hot glue to glue the pieces all the way to um, the rooftop and then glue the part again and leave about a one inch opening. Once that's done, I glue the rooftop pieces together. So I start with the metal piece, add hot glue, and glue this triangle piece to the rooftop. I repeat the same step with the front and the back piece. And of course, the side without the contact paper will be facing in. And now I'm gluing about half of an inch away from the edge of the root top. I also add hot glue towards the inside just to secure all the pieces. And now I'm adding hot glue to the edges and mount it on top of the house. So I apply hot glue along the edges, the front, the back, and the side. And also hold on to the pieces to attach them together. Using one piece of grass tile is enough for this project. So first, I position the house on the base piece and determine where I want the house to be and the grass area. And then I just cut out the grass pieces and peel off the backing and glue it onto the backing piece. For this piece, I determined where I want the tree to be and made a hole with about one inch diameter. And then I also glue it on. And now this is the last piece of the carton. I purposely wanted to tear it apart instead of cutting it. So I wanted that rough edge and uh, so I just roll it in, make sure that uh, there's enough opening so that I can insert the tree branch in there and use hot glue and glue it all around. And then I also use hot glue to glue it onto the base where the opening of the grass is. So I added more hot glue and I wanted the base to be very stable so it can hold up the the tree of the ranch which will become the tree and I also add hot glue to the ranch to the bottom and uh, on one branch of the tree I wanted to hot glue it onto the rooftop just to give some support so that the tree can stand by itself and I use these masks to uh, camouflage the carton piece so that it looks more realistic. So yes, we're almost there. So all we have to do is to uh, wrap the leaves around the branches and I also add hot glue just to make sure that everything stays in place. And I just try to make the tree to be as realistic as possible. So this is the very last step of the house, so I use this doll pin which I found around the house or you can use a dowel with about 4 inches long. And all I have to do is just to attach uh, glue and add glue onto the sides and the ribbon and make sure that everything is sealed. Oh yeah, and the very last step, I just want to glue the base of the house onto the base piece and just add hot glue around it. And that's it! So yes, the house is very simple and I think it looks really cute and um, I think I have fulfilled my daughter's request and this is all she needs for the dangling house.
I hope you found this video helpful for the new toy trend and thank you so much for spending your time with me. Please give this video a big thumbs up and for the new people, please press the subscribe button and I shall see you soon. Bye!